the uh, direct select contract. And it is, um, uh, the individual has particular expertise in some of the areas that, uh, that my departments work with. Uh, he is a former director of uh, workforce training for the Department of Economic Security with a great deal of expertise in the uh, state policies and, and federal policies regarding uh, uh, Department of Economic Security programs. Uh, he's been very uh, useful to us in a number of ways. Most recently, uh, been very useful in dealing with some uh, proposed, helping us with some pro proposed changes by the Department of Economic Security in the uh, administration, overall state administration of the workforce system. So we don't have an individual here in Pima County that could do this type of work? Not with the particular unique expertise that this individual has, no. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chairman? Item 5 was amended? Yes. I don't see it on here. Yeah. It was uh, Mr. Chairman, Supervisor. Well, I'm not going to pick up on that because uh, I'll just go ahead and move uh, consent agenda as amended. Second. No, second. Uh, Approve consent as amended. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please uh, signify by saying nay. I have it moving on to item number eight. Mm -hmm. so, Mr. Kelly, can you Thank you so much for the courtesy of your relook at that, um, Mr. Chairman. First, I want to say Mr. App has done a fabulous job over the years. I trust his judgment. Uh, I've been working with Mr. Atha for now at least the 17 plus years. Uh, I know that there's a sometimes housekeeping that's necessary, but Mr. Alpha, thank you for the explanation of the contract. I believe I saw what I wanted to see. Thank you. Withdraw the, the I'll, I'll go ahead and withdraw my second of Ms. Miller's motion just to be very clear. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move that we vote on the item, the contract item. We actually can't legally do it because it's not on the agenda. We can have it placed on the uh, future agenda. Mm -hmm. And um, I need counsel to rule on uh, the issue of conduct. At some point, we've also had to waive the rules, and we're dealing with an executed contract. That's right. and a, a, a level on top of that. Counsel? I guess that gets back to my point that this individual was working since February and it wasn't brought before the board until August 19th to vote on. So how was he operating prior to August 19th? Let me, let me have uh, counsel, the issue right now is the minutes and the, the voting on the record. Let me have counsel address the issue that I told you. Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the board, uh, you are correct. If anything is to come back as far as ratification or whatever vote with respect to the contract that will have to be separately uh, put on a separate agenda going forward. How that goes forward is questionable. What's before the board today is simply do the minutes accurately reflect what occurred uh, on August the 19th. Uh, that is a determination made by this board. You have the benefit of the video, you can make that determination or not. That's what's precisely the point at this time. With respect to the effect of the, um, uh, um, of, uh, the uh, fact that the board did, or at least a, a reasonable person could conclude I'm not making any assessment one way or the other. That's what this board can do. But a reasonable person could assume that a majority of this board supported and voted on that particular contract on August the 19th. That being executed, any attempt to unexecute it or to do something different with respect to that or change the vote with respect to that is going to create a dispute as to whether or not there is, in fact, an anticipatory breach of that contract. Uh, at this point. So there is a consequence with respect to that. The, uh, <clears throat> the other aspect, of course, is procedurally, how does one do this uh, with respect to the waiver of the 
uh, before its rules, uh, where it was originally assisted Supervisor Miller in trying to end the court, trying to get this on with September the um, 10th meeting uh, as a reconsideration and a waiver of the board's rule, which would have been a mechanism by which this could have been accomplished with respect uh, to that. The other aspect of this is, is that if what we're trying to do with a, with a future vote is simply to clarify the vote code the board's previous vote on the matter, or to ratify its actions since Supervisor Miller has raised the question whether there has been any vote at all with respect to this item, uh, that that might be appropriate at that particular time to do it as a ratification, a clarification of the vote, and put it on for the next board agenda if that's what the choice of the board is. Uh, Council, um, that was not terribly clear. Uh, let, let, let me follow this up. Uh, what we can do today has to deal with the approval of them. That is correct. Right. That is what is before. We can move, uh, per I believe Supervisor Miller's request, to uh, place that item uh, in a, on a future agenda for the purposes of reconsideration. However, at that time, when we before we uh, for waiving of the rules and then reconsideration, because of our own rules we need to be uh, waived in order to do this. So I, I've, I've got that part about it. The issue then becomes the issue of an executed contract. Yes. How do we place on the board's agenda an executed contract? We've done that before by way of ratification of the contract. So what you're talking about is placing it on for ratification, not for really for reconsideration. That is correct. So where's the So is the appropriate form here, I want to get this correct, is that I move to place this Gabe Oil contract item one that was on the consent agenda on the next, uh, pre next meeting agenda for ratification of the contract. Is that the correct form? Yep. Mr. Chairman, uh, Supervisor Miller, yes, it's as close as I can come. And uh, along with that, uh, is, that gonna, uh, is ratification going to require a waiving of the rule? I don't think so, under the circumstances, because there was already, I mean, it depends on what this vote board does with respect to the minutes. In fact, there was a vote on the minute, I mean, if it, if it was a vote on the matter already, um, yeah, this, this is new territory. M Mr. Chairman, I'll go ahead and second. Okay, so that's a good motion, so we can continue. But I had I had two requests. One is that Supervisor Miller be more clear about what item we are going to ratify. Um, please give some citation of a minute of a, a meeting or something, so we know specifically what we're voting on. And secondarily, I would ask that this item be agendized on a meeting when all five members of the Board of Supervisors are going to be here so that we don't have the further confusion of having a tie vote. Uh, I think it's important that we move this item to October 15th. Agreed. But that's up to the maker of the motion, I believe. I'll accept that as a friendly amendment. If you'll wait just one while I'll give you the item number so we can cite it explicitly. Yeah. It was item one on the consent agenda, the Gabe Boyle contract. From August 19th. From, yes, from the August 19th meeting. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor. Okay, uh, and um, that still leaves the question, we, assuming we uh, pass this motion about what we're doing with these notes. Or with the... Uh, do you want to deal with that now, Supervisor? No, we can't. We can do do we want to finish this motion and vote on it and then move to the balance of the minutes, or do we want to combine All right, let's look. Let's let, Let's go ahead and, and, and do that then. That's fine. Unless council has an object. I have no objection. Okay. All right, motion to force is on placing the item number one uh, on the October, no, October 15th uh, Board of Supervisors meeting uh, for the purposes of ratification. Uh, all those, is that correct, Mr. President? That's correct. Um, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, please signify by saying nay. 
Ayes uh, have. Now the, the underlying question now is what do we do on the approval of the minutes? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the balance of the meeting minutes with exception to this gave away all the contract as, as the clerk has amended them since the last meeting. Council, can we do it? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have a motion with, uh, is there a second? I'll second for the sake of discussion, but I'm not sure that takes care of the problem of the minutes of the meeting of Box 19. I mean, if you want to change those minutes, then that's fine. But we're not taking care of the problem because her motion was to approve the remainder of the minutes and not approve the section regarding the contract uh, that was item number one on consent agenda. And we just asked the county attorney if that was appropriate. Yeah, I mean, Ms. Polk, he's not. I feel like Chairman, what is, what is the question? Is it, the, what is the motion? I, I, I need to look at. The motion before us at this point is on the approval of minutes minus the uh, the portion dealing with item one on the consent calendar of that meeting. You can partially approve the minutes and you choose to continue the other part if you wish. Will you accept the friendly amendment to continue the uh, item number one then? Um, yes, that's what I thought we had done in the first vote, was that we were continuing item number one. And then I made a separate motion, we did it separately so as not to confuse things, that we approve the balance of the minutes as the clerk has amended them since the last meeting. Congratulations. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to remove my second from the motion now because this motion does not deal with the problem that we've created. Minutes. I would say to you that uh, likely we should approve the minutes and approve what happened uh, on that consent agenda item, given that we're going to ratify it on October 15th. Uh, it will essentially make that vote move, and uh, Ms. Miller will be able to voice her objection at that point to it, and, and I think that's perfectly appropriate, and, and, and I'm fine with that. But I, I can't continue on in this discussion if we're not taking care of the problem that was agendized for today's meeting. Okay. Doesn't make sense to me. Is there uh, the second or is withdrawing his second? Is there a second to the original motion? Mr. Chairman. So as it, uh, Carol. Mr. Chairman, I believe staff work needs to be done here. I, I, I pretend that uh, this just all needs to be delayed until October 15th, so Supervisor Miller can uh, Collect uh, the motion that she liked and her satisfaction, and we move on. Because again, this is a uh, an item about uh, the minutes. I thought not about the contract. And secondly, I'm always willing to give anyone the benefit to reconsider. But at this point, I think it's just getting deeper and darker. Uh, let me. Uh, sure, I... Brown's will be back. I'm sure on the 15th they can all readdress this and get on with a, a clear vote. So uh, is there a, uh, I, I don't hear a second. Is that correct? Okay, thanks for lack of a second. Chairman, you can motion to continue this item to concurrently with ratification by number one. I mean, I'll move down. Second. All those in favor, please signify by, uh, and let me restate the motion. This is a continuance of item number 13 right. to uh, the meeting uh, of October uh, 15th. To be considered concurrent with the ratification of item number one on consent calendar at seven minutes. That's fine. Mr. Chairman, that cleans it up. I think that would be the best way to handle this event. Thank you. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, please signify by saying nay. Ayes have it. Moving on to item number 14.